We recommend that as a consumer, you exercise your due diligence and research all strategies recommended to you before adopting them in your own business. Please review our full disclaimer video and documents prior to viewing this video. To enter a work request, select the work request icon from the frame toolbar located at the top. An alternate way to enter a work request is to select modules from the top menu, then select work management, then select the work request. A new work request window will open. Enter in the information as required. In the requested by field, your name appears by default, or you can change the name by double clicking in the field to open the employee query window. Entering your search parameters to find the employee's name that you are looking for. Also enter in the phone number of the person requesting work in case additional information is required from them. Enter or search for the asset name. Do this by double clicking in the asset name field or by right clicking in the asset field. Then select find from the pop-up window to open the asset query window. An asset query window will open. You can use one or all the fields to help you search for the correct asset. Field labels that have percent in front of the field name allows you to use wildcards in that field. The wildcard symbol is a percent sign. Once you have entered in your parameters, then select find on the window menu. If you have a specific query that you use repeatedly, you can save that query for your own personal use at the bottom of the window. MPAC will return the first 100 records that it finds. Select the OK button on the pop-up window to continue. To narrow your search results, you can select the Reset button on the window menu to return to the query window to enter in more search parameters. Or you can use the Drill Down or Drill Up button on the window menu to scroll through the asset hierarchy. The query will return a list of assets based on your parameters. Choose the correct asset from the list. Your selection will be highlighted in blue. Then select the OK button from the window menu. A pop-up window may appear saying there are no open work requests or work orders for this asset. Select the OK button to continue. This window will appear if there are any open work requests or open work orders for this asset. If there are open work requests or work orders, you can view them by selecting them and then select the View Detail button on the left side toolbar. If there are other work requests or work orders that you wish to review, then repeat the previous steps to view them. If there are no work requests or work orders matching your new work, then close this window to continue making your unplanned work order. If there are other work requests or work orders that you wish to review, then repeat above steps. If there are no work requests or work orders matching your request, then close this window to continue making your work request. MPAC will return the asset information into the work request. The asset information may also populate other asset-related fields with relevant information. In the Problem Description field, enter the problem and not the solution. Information to include can be circuit number or loop number. The exact location of work required or the asset location. Enter what happened before, during or after. What were the circumstances of operation? What do you think may have been the cause? What corrective measures are in place? What existing measures are in place? What do you think the problem may be? Continue to fill out the work request. Next, select the asset status using the drop-down list. Note, not all fields on the form are mandatory, but specific fields are part of an algorithm to prioritize the work orders in the Excel Work Order Backlog report. Leaving fields blank can distort the work order report's calculated priority. Next, select an action code from the drop-down list. Use what best describes the type of work that the maintenance department is to be executing. Select the priority code from the drop-down list. There are four choices. One is emergency, which means do it now, and it will break into the weekly schedule. Two is critical, which means do on the next available schedule. Three is essential, which means schedule within four weeks. Four is desirable, which means schedule within two months. You should never have an emergency work request. You should create an unplanned emergency work order instead. Select a shutdown code using the drop-down list, what code best describes when the maintenance department can schedule the work on the asset. 
Now select the appropriate planner for the area from the drop-down list. Select a category from the drop-down list, is the work mechanical or electrical in nature? In the date required field, enter the date that you would like the maintenance department to complete the work by. You can double-click in the date field or right-click in the field to open a pop-up calendar. Please note this is not a scheduled date. In the request type field, select the request type from the drop-down list. Most requests would be routine in nature. If the request is on a project, then it would be capital. Next, if the work is part of a project, then enter the project number here. If you entered a project number, the line number will open select a line from the drop-down list. Next, using the drop-down list, select the lead craft required for the work being requested. Enter in an estimated labor cost and material cost here for the total work requested. Please note you must enter a minimum amount of $1 for MPAC to route work request to the next approver. Save the work request by selecting the save icon on the left side toolbar. If you get an error message after selecting the save icon, there are mandatory fields on the work requests that you have not completed. MPAC will not let you save the work request until you have satisfied any mandatory fields. Correct any missing data and save again? The work request is now waiting for approval. At this time, you still have some control over the work request to make changes if required. Any field that is still white and not gray can be modified. To add notes for more supporting information to the work request, select the note icon from the side menu. Note you must save the work request before the note icon turns on. With a note window open, select the subject field. In the subject line, put in what the note is about. Enter your supporting notes below. Save the note on the side menu, then close the note window. To add more notes, open notes as before on the side menu, then on the top menu, select the edit, then select add a row. A new subject line will appear. Enter in a new subject along with a note. You can have more than one subject and notes. Save and close the note window, then close the work request window. Your work request is now waiting on approval. Your work request should be either approved or rejected within 24 to 48 hours. If rejected, the approver should email you as to why they have rejected it. This brings us to the end of entering in a work request. Thank you for watching. If you liked our videos, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up.